Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where today we're gonna go to the Attic Traverse and deal with the Rachni. Whatever could happen, whatever could be there. It's actually a really big <laughs> plot point. I'm kind of surprised it's not one of the like main mission-y things. Yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah, that's a great yeah, yeah. Follow war with more war. <laughs> we're the saviors of the galaxy, and now we're gonna enact war again. Love it. Love war. After everything is decimated. Where? Attican, Attican, Attican. Is it the missing scouts one? Well, it must be. But it doesn't pop up Attican Traverse, it says in my question. So loud still, my goodness. What? It was built shortly after the Rachni Wars. The post orbits the mass relay and is still manned and maintained, although it exists largely as a customs checkpoint for researchers studying the Rachni homeworld. That would be pretty cool. Among members of the council militaries being assigned to the station is seen as a form of punishment or exiles. Seeing as that, considering that there have been no signs of sapient life on Swin for over a thousand years. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Oh, geez. Everybody calm down. Holy moly. It's orbited by abandoned recovery stations that the Rachni built during their days of conquest. Uh huh, uh huh, okay. Swin. Swin's abundant subterranean rivers presented them with a place to thrive. So when was the last battle in the Rachni Wars? <laughs> yeah. They just destroyed it, like, 100%. Mm hmm Um... I guess I have to leave this. Yep, okay. Utuku. Ah, records show that the planet should have a Helium-3 mining infrastructure, but scans find nothing of the sort. There are neither abnormal heat sources nor space junk from de destroyed refineries. If the infrastructure was removed, it was removed entirely and within the last few years. Oh uh ho ho. I can't remember how long the Rachni Queen has been subjugated like free and then subjugated. Spoilers! <laughs> Here's Utaku. Habitable. Extreme weather, though. But it has cool plant, flat flora and, and fauna. And also, my son. <laughs> my son is here. <laughs> Spoilers again. I'm getting bad. <laughs> this is Mass Effect 3. But yes, my son is here. I go now to save him. Well, to help him. He's probably fine on his own. He's actually not. Like, this whole squad's having a rough time. Any updates, Shepard? Our backup's waiting for us at the drop point. Arlac Company. Krogan Commandos. That's correct, Shepard. They are an accomplished unit. Their decisive action in liberating a colony from Batarian pirates made them famous. Good to hear. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni relay. Understandable. In my cycle, we use the Rachni as living weapons. Weapons. Mm. They were only animals then, without technology. Violent, but useful. 
When they became a problem, we burned 200 worlds to stop them. We don't know much, but no Rachni activity has been reported. It doesn't make sense. We let that last Rachni queen live on the condition she disappear forever. She wouldn't risk everything to start a war. Just be ready for anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting points of view from Javik. <laughs> He says they're very violent, but the Rachni yeah. weren't. Shuttle just arrived. Yeah! They're a good moving team, too. See anything? Let me know. Grunt? My son! Shepard! <laughs> <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Batarians off me. Didn't want problems with the Council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. My boy! I can't believe Rex didn't tell me that my boy is here. <laughs> Sounds familiar, Grunt. How'd you go from being new and unproven to your own command? Yeah, <laughs> wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I was an equal. And being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. I bet some didn't like a tank bread Krogan being I'll a I'll kill him! I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect. Oh, me. he's doing so well. And it's actually it really is just like one of my little protégés to uh to get his own squad, you know, Gra uh, Garrus did the same thing, now Grunt, and I'm just like, eh, my boys, <laughs> they're doing such a good job. You were a pain in the front. <laughs> but if you're Krogan or half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Hey, glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. Chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. Yes, you are the one. That's the right. The who occupied my quarters on the Normandy. You left your mark. What? Who is this, Shepard? Uh... You shouldn't be so anxious to face the Rachni. They were formidable opponents, even to my people. Ask me Bleh. later. <sighs> Whatever you say. We don't know if the Rachni had anything to do with this. We're here to find the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. Sounds like fun. Just like old times. Just like right? old times. <laughs> Our luck company, move out. Look at him. It makes me Grab what you need, honestly Shepherd. tear up. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. It makes me tear up. Sounds seeing good. my boys doing, just being so successful. Take what you need and move out. Hey, whoa! I saw the glowing and I was like, what? Take what we need. I assume we got to take what we need from the camp. There is something that happens, though, that I think makes this a bit... Wow! Gimme, gimme! Oh my gosh, it's so... heavy, and it only fires one shot, but look at that! Oh my gosh. I don't think... I can take the claymore right now. I am gonna des- well, hang on, let's- Can I select it? Yes, I want- Um, why can't I? Can I not modify it from here? Well, let me modify it. Well. Have I really been using the katana this whole time? That's fine. If I did this, I'd have to take away the pistol, and I don't want to take away the pistol.
we'll use it when we can modify it for a weight decrease. Wow, I mean, I know it's just rocks, but for real, it's like, this is... It looks so much nicer than it used to. I mean, you can kind of tell, right, that it's been Their upgraded. Their base camp has been decimated. The Krogan are overconfident. It's their weakness. Yeah, okay, that's a danger, danger zone. Danger, danger. Um, but it's funny that Javik's like, oh, don't be too eager. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, don't be too eager, blah, blah, blah. Um... But it's like, you know, he has to know the Krogan, at least in some way, you know? Do I not? Oh, I do. Okay. Like, they live for this kind of stuff. I guess I could try... Yeah, the, pre the scorpion's really heavy. I was like, I could try a different one. We'll give the claymore a run for money. Fine, tunnel and Aha, I knew it. Look at everyone's just vibing. Just chilling. You ready to go? Uh, now should be the time for you to ask me about my friend. What did you do after the collectors were defeated? I spent most of my time back on Tachanka learning what it was to be Krogan. In the lab where I was created, the lessons were like fighting with practice weapons. They had no bite, no impact. I needed the blood and pain. I made mistakes, but I learned. Very Krogan, very Krogan, yes. Yeah. Tell me more about this company. Arlak means Eye of Wrath. We are named after the fierce Tuchanka son. Rex handpicked us from different clans to show a united Krogan. We were sent because we're the strongest. Well, and also, like, the learning with blood and pain, right? So maybe a bit more extreme, but, like, hands-on learning anything, like, on the ground, in the field, you're sure, you're, it's a way, like, learning things from books is great, don't get me wrong, like, I do it all the time, but, like, learning things on the ground is a surefire way to, like, muscle memory and brain memory it, too, you know? Did Warlord Okir imprint anything on you about the Rachni during your creation? Okir ensured I knew of the Rachni. They are respected as an enemy. Everyone thought they were dead, defeated by the Krogan. You proved that wrong. If they're here, my blood demands they die. I mean, it's not like a genetic thing, but <laughs> more of an imprinted uh, societal memory thing. What happened to the scouting party? Looks like something dropped half their camp down a hole. Their shuttle must have been lost as well. They weren't going anywhere. Doesn't matter. We're here to find the Rachni and burn them out. We're like, it doesn't have to be Rachni, and Grunt is like, it is 100% the Rachni. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. Finally. Right behind you, I Shepard. just, like, threw my head on. And... Oh, no. Everything's fine. Oh, no! <laughs> I can't... I can't believe you guys didn't check to see if it was structurally sound. <laughs> Everyone all right? Oh no, yeah, sure. Shepard! You in one Everything's piece. fine. Looks like we're all okay. Keep in radio contact. On our way. No, no, everything will be fine 100%. Oh, ahead of us. I see. Yeah, I was like ahead of us what? Grunt. Got a body of a scout here. Been dead a few oh, days. Wow. Yeah. If he has his weapon, grab it. He won't need it anymore. Oh yay, a heavy weapon. How convenient. How do I access my heavy weapons? Maybe I just hold on to this forever? Is that webbing? Looks like it. We're not fighting Rachni, we're fighting. Giant spiders. We're in Skyrim. Point of no return. I honestly think this is a really beautiful place. This darkness is going to make it a little harder, Shepard. Agreed. 
Everybody be ready. But um, I am just a big fan of anything bioluminescent. Movement. Anybody catch yeah. that? Confirmed. Oh hi, spore pod. I see something. Yeah. What is that? Where? Hang on, I gotta look at these first. Inside some of these is sadness. Ow. We need to be cautious. They're dangerous. Frugal. I think that's the way we come out. Is so mazy. Those cords, Shepard. Reaper technology. Maybe. Ah, uh, may what do you mean, maybe, Shepard? This is 100% Reaper technology. Here we go. More ammo. Do I have a map? Nope, okay. Well. That looks like the way we're supposed to go. I swear there was another way. I think there might be... And this might just be me making things up. But there might be two ways to get to the same place. Just the one way. That's the point of no return back there. I hope I haven't missed because there's a few entries, you know, like a few journal entry type things from the scouts that I don't want to miss. Oh, baby! Reaper and <laughs> Reaperified Ragnar. Cool beans. No. Do I not have? Oh my gosh! Why do they have? Ba oh, they have barriers because of that. Ah, I am gonna die. I cannot see anything. It is a rag man. I can't. I can't see. I can't. Can't see. Can't see anything. Hang on. We need to, first of all, we need to break this stupid barrier thing. Oh, let me switch. Okay, stupid barrier machine gone. Through. Get off! Get away! I hardly recognize. Oh! Reapers made some modification. Okay, that's right. I Crush. drop it. Ragnar presence confirmed. Modified and very dangerous. I drop it, and then I pick Finally, it up again. Something to kill. Yeah, well, you better get up here. Nothing here yet. Lost a Krogan to a sinkhole. Bad way to go. Oh uh, yeah. The breeding ground must be here. The Reapers are protecting an asset of great significance. Yeah, arachnid would be a great asset of significance. But they're constantly be they are very susceptible to mind control, which is a reaper specialization. Oh yeah, shotgun. Look at this though. I remember having a moment here being like, "Wow, this game's so beautiful." Blah blah blah, cuz I'm just a poetic sap. The Reaper stuff is just really elegant, honestly. Like, it's designed to be terrifying, awe-inspiring, and elegant. Insect-like, but beautiful. 
Uh, I guess I could take the photo. I just need to get out of here. Okay. Hello? Oh, <laughs> a tiny gap. But yeah, throw bioluminescence in your game. I'm a fan. Pretty sure these explode on contact, like if you get too close to them. I'm probably wasting ammo, but here we are. I don't like the idea of leaving any of them. Look at this. No question Reapers have been here. Agreed. Let's find out why. Let me through. I'm running out of gas. Oh man, even this close? Dang. Okay. Since when do Rackman make webs? Well, by the way. Copy that. How are we getting by this? Like that. I don't know what the big deal was on that. This looks important. Yep. Let's break it. Can we not break it with fire? Okay. Not the button I wanted to do. I will pick up this one. That's I am level 40 already? My gosh. I'm sorry, Garrus. Holy moly. Mama is unhappy. Uh, our exit is cut off. Looks like we're finding another way out of here. Come on! I think. What was that noise, Shepard? You guys bad. just need to okay, dig baby. harder. We're all right. Good. Didn't want to dig you out. Don't worry, my boy. Well, that hurts my feelings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it really is so nice to just see, like, I don't know, the, the characters you cared about, like, come into their own a bit. I, like I said, I wish I could have more of them with me. I know we'll get Caden back at some point, um, but, and Tally, but, you know, it's one of those things that's always kind of, I guess, haunted me since, uh, reading that Shadow Broker entry about Garrus, where it's like, you know, he could have... Shepard, I know what happened to the scouts. Could have thrived without me. What'd you kinda. find? They got hit hard. The leader ordered them to carry weapons deep into the caves. He knew the next team would need help. They died making sure we could make it to the central chamber. Come on. Yeah, I thought that was a codex entry, but no, yeah, they intentionally, um... They knew that when they knew they weren't going to be able to get out after the sinkhole happened, they um, and they were like ambushed and all that stuff. They they knew they weren't going to be able to get out, so they just tried to get as far as they could, keeping their weaponry, like giving things that would would help the next people to come along. I remember this. <laughs> I remember being like, "Why?" Like, like I was doing it, but I was like, "I feel like this is that place where like." I just went around in a circle for no reason. <laughs> just to waste my ammo. It's fine. I'm waiting in here for the one, though, the side entry that's gonna make me sad. Where are you, my guy? Look out! Woo! <laughs> There we go. Looks like a last message. He's asked that it be delivered to an Asari named Araba on the Citadel. Show me the message. The message is sad. Where is it? Okay. We I had to double check, but we do get to hear the message, I guess, when um 
we take it back to Ereba and we will get the full we will get the full message then full emotional impact of it and we have to return it to his to his true love and I'll leave it I mean probably some of you know who it is and who it's for and why it's significant but <laughs> I won't spoil this one. They deceive me. There's another open area. Wow, I wonder what... Here, I knew it. <laughs> I was like, I knew they had to give me a fresh one. I wonder what's gonna a happen. Yeah! Expect so. <laughs> I wonder what will happen in a large arena area. This is crazy. Point of no return, so many. Switching. I swear, I do, okay, I do have shockwave, but when they have barrier, I can't use it on them. Uh. Yeah. Why can't I use it? Yeah, I can. Punch them off the cliff. Oh, no, I'm not that, oh, jeez. All right, now I'm scared. Please do it, okay. Ah! It says I can't use it, but I definitely can. Goodness gracious, oh my gosh. sure if that was a barrier thing oh my gosh it's not that's a krogan i thought it was a barrier machine oh my gosh that's horrifying i'm distracted why are you throwing grenades at me all right in i go oh god oh no oh no no, don't do that. Oh no. I can't reload fast enough. Oh. <laughs> What a way to die! Golly! Oh, I have no health. Let's, let's fix that. Run out. Is there a clump of them over there? Hang on, where's the firestorm? I will probably need it. What's this? Can't get. Okay, it's just a way they can get around. The shotgun's super powerful, though. I'm very pleased with it. Definitely should not be wasting it on that. There it is. I was like, I know it was towards the beginning. We must be getting close, Shepard. Some heavy fighting. Tough bastards. Casualties? It's fine. Krogan fight better angry. They do. I don't know, people, I can see people trying to be like, let's freaking change them and make them into more palatable, you know, oh, everybody's nice. And it's like, listen, 
Some people fight better angry. <laughs> But then you meet in, I do like in Andromeda, you meet a Krogan who uh, is a bit of an oddball for a Krogan in that he's more interested in science and botany and is quite nice. <laughs> and everybody, all the other Krogan around him are like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but um, who was it? The grumpy old Krogan guy. He's uh, he's like, well, we do need more like him so that we can like, you know, expand and into other things and we're not just angry mercs all the time and we need to be more self-sufficient so having our own like agricultural scientists is good he's like but he's still a weirdo <laughs> this is funny but um anyway i'm gonna go ahead and call this one here i hope you guys don't mind too much it's just been a lot of fighting but we did get to see grunt and in the next part, we should be able to finish this up. So thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Coito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And a shout out also to my other sapling tier patron, Adam. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And an extra special shout out to my tree tier patron, Christopher, who is the super bestest and who I super appreciate. Thank you so, so much for your support. Uh, thank you all again so much. Thank you all again so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.